What's up guys? Dodgers are back home for this quick three game series against the Giants. Um, this is always one of my favorite series uh, just because it's our rival. It's our biggest rival, really one of our only rivals outside of like the Cubs in the playoffs. So um, I'm super pumped about it. And the best part about all of it is we finally get Kershaw versus Bumgarner. We were supposed to have them on opening day. Bumgarner got hurt. Uh, last time Bumgarner pitched here, he, I don't know who he went up against, but it wasn't Kershaw. They haven't faced each other since about 2016, I believe I read. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I got on my badass Puig and Bumgarner shirt, but, uh, well, no, it's my Puig shirt. <laughs> Screw Bumgarner. But I, I just, there's everything that I don't like about this, uh, this team. I don't, it's just, that's how it is with our rivals. It's, I can't stand the team can't stand the fans their jerseys ugly as hell I hate the color orange I don't like wearing anything orange even like outside of baseball season because I don't ever want people to think that I don't I don't know I just I can't it's like the color red for me I hate the color red and I hate the color orange um, they just bother me I'll very rare sometimes I'll wear red but it's very rare um, and I do have a pair of red high top or skate high vans but different story anyways um, should be a pretty good game tonight. I expect it to be a uh, pretty close to a sellout. It doesn't look like there's many tickets left. Um, one of my good friends got field level seats and he actually got me a ticket. So I actually, I will get to be sitting at field level tonight, uh, really close to, so I'm super pumped about that. I love sitting close for great pitching matchups. So as long as we come out with a win, that is all I care about. Um, Oakland was great. You guys saw my video. Some other news for those who don't know, and even if you do, just to fill you in, Jansen got put on the DL due to his uh, irregular heartbeat. This is a problem he's had for years. Um, I believe he had surgery a couple years back, and it seems to be back now, although I just read on Twitter that he had said it wasn't necessarily the altitude in Colorado. He started feeling symptoms. Uh, in Oakland so at first they initially came out said it could be four to six weeks Jansen said today it's not going to be four weeks it's not going to be six weeks uh, but that he most likely will have to have open heart surgery in the off season so that is a bummer hopefully all that goes well and then he doesn't have to deal with this again because I'm sure this is pretty scary for his family and even as fans we worry about our players health so hopefully he is Good soon, feeling well. We could really use him. The bullpen's been an absolute shit show these last few games. So um, we need him, hopefully sooner rather than later before we end up, I don't think we'll fall out of a playoff spot. Um, oh, and main reason is because we have Maeda and Stripling back in the bullpen now. So that's huge. Uh, Hunjin Ryu is coming back. He's pitching on Wednesday. So that's awesome as well. We got him back. So hopefully in the meantime, while Jansen's gone, these guys can hold it down. But uh, I think that's about it. We sucked it up in Colorado, mostly the bullpen. Offense did pretty shitty as well. But uh, I'm going to start making my way up to BP, see how things go, and then get ready for this game. So hope you guys get to enjoy it, and I'll see you when I'm up there. We're chill playing catch with a kid. All right, well, unfortunately, I didn't catch anything at BP, um, but a lot weren't hit out today. A couple of them were hit out. Uh, Muncie hit a couple hard, Jock hit some, Bellinger hit some, um, right-handed Randall hit one or two, but it, they didn't, it didn't seem like they were trying to crush them today. So I'm gonna hopefully take that as a sign that they will, uh, be kind of focusing on making contact during the game versus just hitting bombs all game and striking out because this team, some of these guys on this team just have too many strikeouts. Uh, Chris Taylor leads the league, all of MLB in strikeouts, I believe, and that's just, that's not good when you're not producing as much as like, like last year, Judge had a bunch of strikeouts, but the guy was still producing a bunch, so you can kind of overlook that, but like, Taylor's had some good moments. I don't necessarily know if I want him out of the lineup. Um, but I just hope he turns it around because that's just too many strikeouts. And when you got guys in AAA like Verdugo, who is known for not striking out much, can put the ball in play, and is 
young and wants to get going, and if we're going to keep him on this team, we got to develop him, then I want to see him get a chance if, I mean, Taylor keeps striking out. So his OPS isn't too bad. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good, all things considering, but usually when he gets out, it just seems like it's a strikeout most of the time. Uh, so hopefully tonight we'll see a lot more contact instead of trying to see them just crush the ball all night. Uh, it's also not as hot as it has been lately, so the ball's not going to be flying as much. Maybe that's why they didn't hit as many out, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. My friend's not here quite yet, so I don't know where my seats are at. I know I'm close and I know what section, but I don't know the seat number, so I'm just chilling right now at field level. Um, but hopefully we see um, some hitting tonight and more than anything the bullpen that for me is the biggest thing uh, Maeda and Stripling aren't available until Tuesday and Wednesday because they pitched in the Colorado series so they'll be available I think Maeda I think Stripling tomorrow Maeda Wednesday so that'll be good to have them coming out of the pen soon um, and then Hunjin gets his start on Wednesday and I don't I think I mentioned anything about open heart surgery on here, but there was a tweet that came out about Jansen that he might have to have open heart surgery, and now it sounds like it was a kind of misunderstanding uh, communication thing between the reporter and Jansen. It sounds like he might need a minor surgery, but not open heart, which is very good because open heart's pretty scary. So um, we will have to wait and see and hopefully hear more on that. He threw a bullpen today. He's going to throw it. Not at max effort though. He's gonna throw another one on Wednesday and we will see how that goes. If I hear anything else, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm gonna just chill and get ready for this game. Giants are taking BP and hope we kick their ass tonight. Issue number 40, Madison Bumgarner. Seventh inning stretch, and the Dodgers are up two to one. Kershaw's putting on a pitching clinic at about 89 pitches through seven innings, only giving up the one run, four hits. So even helped himself out with that hit earlier. Um, really need offense to come through with another runner too. Kershaw could probably go eight innings, maybe nine, uh, if they want him to, depending on how quickly he gets through the eighth. So I don't know who I trust in that bullpen. I'll have to wait and see. Um, but hopefully offense can get another run or two here and we'll feel much safer if they do go to the bullpen because looks like guys are starting to warm up their arms in there. So we will see. Caleb Ferguson's warming up in the bullpen. I like it.
Kershaw pitched an incredible game. Nine strikeouts, no walks, eight innings, one run, and then Scott Alexander just completely screwed up the game. I, I don't agree 100% with blaming Roberts on this. Um, Alexander is our closer right now. He needs to get the job done. If that was Jansen, we'd be leaving him into not going to pull him out. I, at this point, would like to see Ferguson, not Alexander. Alexander stresses me out every time he comes into the game. Uh, I think Ferguson has showed he... I think he's only pitched in one really high leverage game, and he did well, and so I would like to see it again. At this point, I feel like we've got nothing to lose. Luckily, we get Stripling tomorrow, Maeda on Wednesday, so hopefully Maeda can be our closer and get it done because this was just an absolute fucking embarrassment. Sorry for that, but I'm just going to give it to you all how it is. Um, I, I don't even know what to say anymore, but we lost. Bullpen blew up once again, Muncie's. God, that guy with a glove is terrible. A little league ground ball hit to the dude at first base, and he bobbles it and botches it, and another run comes across to score. So instead of a two-run lead going into the ninth, it's now, well, two-run deficit. It's now three-run deficit. So that's it for tonight. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Not even sure who's pitching. Um, I'm just not in the mood for any of this shit right now. So... Be back here tomorrow for the Rich Hill bobblehead, and who knows? I don't even know what to say besides maybe they'll hit. Maybe Stripling will be our closer if we even get to that point. Offense has been pretty disgusting the last few days, so two runs on eight hits. Ridiculous. But I'm going to head out, get out of this place, and be back tomorrow. Hope you guys didn't watch this game. Bye, guys.